qualifying. Doesn't get that drop shot right. Snapped up. Too good from Purcell. I can see already. There's another ripper. That's fine tennis from the world number 94. Well, that is audacious. Game. Just the one break needed for Max Purcell. It's a competitive set of tennis. Yeah. Game. That's a good hold. Cut Purcell in two. Oh, oh. that's just too good. He's come from behind um, twice before this week, Billy seven, Harris. Seven, seven, Harry. Oh, I thought he did well to, to get to the ball and... Count. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, he's done it again. And that one even better. Oh, clever. Okay. Oh, it's a shame for Billy Harris, but you have to give Max Purcell so much credit. Six, four, As the Australian four, six, reaches six, his four. first ever singles ATP Tour final. It's been a wonderful, amazing run for the Brit, who once again went deep at a grass court event this summer. But it's Purcell who makes it through. It was an up and down encounter. One break in each set was enough. Purcell winning through. 6-4, 4-6, 6-4. Max, congratulations. What a match that was into your first final. How important is that, particularly at this point of the year? Um, it's huge. You know, I've been, I've been struggling, like I said, in my last uh, interview. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I'm new, new coach this week, and I feel like everything's really coming together right before one of my favourite tournaments, yep. You have been struggling for all those results, as you've mentioned before, and we've seen, but you came through qualifying here. Now yeah. you're into the final. Yeah. You've been playing against someone like Billy, who's been really on form on the grass at the moment. Yeah. Did qualifying perhaps change your mindset a little bit, and you were just taking all the opportunities you could this week? Yeah, I think three, first three of my uh, four matches, I ended up ass on the ground, kind of saving some big <laughs> points. I think, uh, yeah, they are. The, the, the grass, it feels good, um, but... Yeah, qualifying last week in Halle definitely gave me some, some confidence, a couple straight sets matches there, and I just felt like I'm kind of due to get a couple more wins. I don't, how many? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, qualifying against uh, kind of Choinsky and then and Searle, another young up and comer, gave me a good, good amount of confidence. You know, it was a big uh, crowd with the Brits cheering against me, so I felt like it kind of, uh, I kind of got used to it today from those matches. But, um, I mean, you guys, uh, you guys are amazing out here. Even though you're cheering for Billy, it's great to play in such a, a good atmosphere. And, um, yeah, thank you for being so fair. It has been a great atmosphere here at Eastbourne all week. You are into your first singles final, but you are a Grand Slam champion. You've won the Wimbledon doubles title before. How much have you learned, perhaps, from that experience that might help you a little bit in the final tomorrow? Um, 
Yeah, a lot. I think I, I used doubles quite well early in my career to, to kind of play on the bigger courts and then use that to hit with some of the top guys in singles. So I felt like um, that was a big part of my kind of uh, journey to the top 100 in singles. So I played ta Taylor and Vuk before. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not, uh, I'm not unfamiliar with them and I had, I've had tight matches with them both. So yeah, whoever gets through, I'm hoping to have a tight match with. Well, we're looking forward to that match too and to seeing you in the final tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Purcell. Thank you.